Season's greetings and welcome to a holiday edition of The Grape List. Today's guest is a 2018 Malbec brought to us by Jose Hernandez. It's 14.4% alcohol and coming from the Uco Valley of Argentina. So without further ado, let's dive into this. To the wine cam. Pour, 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 So wine, what do you taste like? Hmm, okay. Got a bit of spice going on there. Tannins in full effect. Good, good. Mm. Man. This is definitely a product of its surroundings. The Uco Valley, it's a region in Argentina that to the north has mountains, to the south has a dry lake bed. Hey, I'm dressed so festive. Let me dress up my wine also. Dressing up wine is a thing. In many places, it's called mulled wine. It goes by a couple of different variants and names, depending on the country. Here go a couple of names while I refresh my glass. Here is mulled wine, which is the most common. Glühwein, which is German. There's also the Nordic Glog. Don't know how to pronounce that properly. Central European countries, it's called cooked wine. In Chile, it's called candola. Candola, ooh. Or vino navegao. No matter what any region calls it, I just call it damn delicious. So now I'm gonna turn this red wine to mulled wine. So you may be wondering what exactly goes into mulled wine. Given that this is a very regional item, there are many things that can go into it, but for the most part, it's always gonna be the star of the attraction, red wine, which is usually a Malbec or a Cabernet Sauvignon, a full bodied red is what you're looking for, not anything light. The other thing to keep in mind is the alcohol content. We will be heating this up, meaning that some of the alcohol will get burned off, unfortunately. There are many ways to compensate for this. Some uh, mulled wines actually add liqueur at the end of it in order to give it that extra kick that's lost. Other people prefer to enjoy it in its more subdued form. To each their own. Red wine, cinnamon sticks, star anise, cloves, and sugar the basis for any good mulled wine. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. I really need better glasses to do this with because this is so hot. This is so warm to the touch. I can like, so inviting on this cold day. Oh my gosh, it's so interesting. Actually, as I inhale, I can taste the alcohol in the vapors. So like a lot of alcohol is being burned off right now in mine. This holiday edition of the Grape List is brought to us by the colors red, green, and yellow. Why yellow, you ask? Because we all need a little bit of sunshine in our lives, especially around this time of the year. I have no cold worries at this moment. This mulled wine makes me feel like I am in the warmest place ever. I'm in a cocoon of warmth. There is no cold, there is no hot, there is just warmth. And it surrounds me and it's enveloped me and it's permeating from the inside out. Where does this wine fall on the grape list? Well, it's strong tannins, which are ever present, which I always enjoy, um, are kind of offset by the fruit pairing that this is made with. I'm not exactly sure what exactly it is. It was not to my liking. This wine is redeemed in the fact that it is a Malbec and it makes an excellent, excellent mulled wine. I mean, I'm just, I've been going back to this glass consistently in these takes. I mean, this is, I'm starting to feel like I'm messing up in these takes on purpose just to drink more. 
or to enjoy more of this wine. Oh. It just oh. warms your body from the inside out, and the cold is no longer a thing. It's amazing. Currently on the grape list, this would be number 12. And as always, right-handed in life, mold wine and left. Poor, 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 poor. Poor, 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 ho, 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 poor, 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 poor.